The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to. Well, hi, hello. So today has been a very weird day. You know how there are just some days when you wake up and you get out of bed and you feel like you've got out of the wrong bed and into the wrong room and everything is wrong. Well, that wasn't my day. My day was fine. But I went and woke up Claudia, who was like, I hate today. I hate life. I hate everything. And it's like, good. Good start. Good start. So it is two days until what would have been Claudia's mother's birthday. And so it's always a very difficult time of year, this this kind of this week is quite hard for her, understandably. Um, but she tends to take it out on everything around her and decide she dislikes everything, but really it's just one thing. Anyway, I said, what would make you feel better? And she said, digging a hole. So, she's digging a hole. Hello. And yesterday I asked what would make her feel better and she said, a granddad jumper. So, she now has a granddad jumper. And the dogs are being incredibly annoying. So we took the dogs for a walk. Uh, and I got myself. Way! Two for one pound. Well, I bought one and then she was like, it's tough for one pound. I was like, oh, okay. God. Oh, it's such a charm. Got you up in my arm. And then we went to the garden centre, which, you know, place of dreams. We'll never be over. Normally love the garden centre, um, but we were there specifically to buy a spade, so. It is time to get out in the snow. <laughs> That's new to me. I'm not necessarily a spade shopper normally. Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring. Nobody loves you as much as I do. And we've been decorating the house and just sort of putting lights up places. The seal. That time. And I even got to decorate lights around a bush that I really like. By the fire. Here are now we're just going to take Claudia some tea in the garden while she digs a hole. Yeah, I did just pour milk everywhere. I told you, it's one of those days. As you're digging. It's quite hard, it's very mm -hmm. solid clay. Well, that's the whole point of it, mixing it up a bit. Because it's not good enough to grow plants and stuff in yet. Is the digging making you feel better? Yeah, and look, I cleaned out leaves, the rake. Ooh. We were supposed to go to London today to see a play called The Lost Thing. Um, it's supposed to be really good, Royal Opera House, very fancy, has a disabled cast and everything. Uh, but I just felt too delicate and like I couldn't cope. And so yesterday I just cried to Claudia and was like, I cannot, I can't. And I know it's really, like, ooh, should I support it? And also, ooh, content. But um, no, <laughs> probably better to put my health first. So I instead went to the corner shop, exciting, and bought myself, attempts to find it, Lensip. The thing that keeps me going throughout winter, because I really need it. And Yorkshire tea, gold. Because it's the only tea that Claudia drinks, and shockingly we're out. Um, but she's decided she's fancy now, so she drinks Yorkshire tea, gold. I just watched that back and it's the shakiest thing ever, and I really apologize. It's just not, it's just, it's just, just not my day. Just not feeling well, <laughs> and then Feeling unwell makes me feel... Feeling unwell makes me feel very emotionally vulnerable. I guess that's not unexpected. Um, it just... Do you know? Even try, I can't even explain my feelings. I just need a lemon sip. <laughs> I just want to stop sniffing and also feeling awful. My lungs feel disgusting. I think I get scared as well which doesn't help because I just went through so many winters getting bronchitis over and over and over again. Got pneumonia once too, that was fun. 
Um, but they have the pneumonia jab, which lasts 10 years and has now run out, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I talked to a GP about it, and he said that oh, I'm not at risk of pneumonia, so apparently I don't need one. And I'm like, oh, well, I do, because I still do. Because <laughs> my intercostal muscles, which are the muscles in between your ribs, um, mine wasted away when I... Hello, darling. Hi. You coming for cuddle? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> hey. You come to cheer me up. Mine wasted away when I was uh, on bed rest for two years, as you would expect, because I wasn't doing a lot of breathing. And they've never really properly grown back, grown stronger again, I suppose. So I find things like coughing quite difficult sometimes. If I need to clear my airways, I have to get someone to smack me on the back. And whenever I get ill, if I get a cold or something, it tends to go into my lungs, which isn't good. And because the doctor wouldn't give me the pneumonia jab, I'm also terrified that I'm gonna get pneumonia. <sighs> but it's fine, isn't it, Tills? It's fine, I'm in like the best health I've been in 10 years. So I should calm down, shouldn't I? Also, I have disgusting nails and I feel really embarrassed about them. And they're only disgusting because I'm not giving myself the time to sit down and paint them. I'm instead looking them like, chip off one nail at a time and then I just paint that one nail it's like it's fine it's fine it's a bodge job it's not fine but I pretend it's fine all right Let's pull myself together it's Christmas and some kind of love my friend pick up some candy canes and hang a wreath on your door <laughs> getting better now yeah dug my holes Mm. <laughs> Is that actually nice? Mm. So today we've both been a bit funny. Woke up on the wrong side of the bed, as they say. Yes, I think that's fair to say. I just want to dig a hole! But then I thought it whilst I was digging the holes. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't just digging holes, I was turning over the soil. Ready for springtime and planting new bulbs and flowers can come through because at the moment it's really clay. Mm -hmm. I even actually bought a, um, a pH moisture yes. light, like, thermometer thing. It's not a thermometer, I don't know what you call it, but it's a momometer for these other three things. Anyway. Meter? Just some type of meter, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a momometer. I just realised that it's not just therm, <laughs> it's thermo, idiot. Anyway. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure we learned in primary school all the different names for the different types of meters as well. Photometer is light. Anyway, I diverge. So you were digging in the garden? Mm, so digging in the garden, like putting my fork in, and putting my spade in. Angrily. And then, uh, and then I realised like actually I probably woke up in a bit of a mood because it's like two days to my mum's birthday and I think I just always get a bit funny around this time of year. I just felt like a lot of sadness in me, but then rather than I don't like, I'm not very good at like realizing my emotions always. So then when I feel a lot of emotions, it comes out, which are negative, like sadness. I come, it comes out as anger and frustration, yeah. doesn't it? It does. Yeah, I get that from my dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, but then I thought, you know, actually then I started feeling positive because I was like, the reason I wanted to like kind of dig a hole Mm -hmm. or like turn over the soil was because it's kind of like in winter time like the garden's sleeping but you just got to get it sort of ready for springtime when it's going to wake yeah. up and come to life again and it's like about the cycle of life and just rejuvenation and it just felt like new beginnings i like your new obsession my gardening obsession yes yes it's a good one i look adorable don't i dressed up as a little you do <laughs> as a little grandpa someone commented on a video like two weeks ago is it weird that Claudia reminds me of my granddad? And I replied, no, she reminds me of mine. Mm. Jessica often says like, oh, you remind me so much of my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do, my papa. Mm. I think it's going to be like, it's a nice lifetime hobby. Yes. And now that we're like homeowners of a nice garden of reasonable size, where we can just garden. stomp around and do bits. I used to actually, when I was really young, I liked wearing what I kind of wore today. like. Big woolly fleeces and yeah. like 
some old jeans and some walking boots and I'd stomp around the garden and like with sticks and <laughs> poke at things and look for like insects and you know like, I was yeah, kind of, like yeah. an outdoorsy kind of girl like that and then I got older and then I felt like it's not cool to be that kind of person you know mm. a rambler so um <laughs> so then I kind of looked into getting into the hobbies of like you know listening to cool music you know that doing that annoying thing at school where people are like I heard of that band first actually like so old news <laughs> you're like do you know like and it would be like a weird test wouldn't it be have you heard of like so and so and it'd be like the most obscure weirdest name anywhere ever, like ever and you'd be like yeah obviously and then someone would be like I totally just made that band up do, do people do that to you I never cared I'm sure that <laughs> happened, and I just didn't care. Well, I know, it's kind of a form of bullying, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've no, I didn't really care about other people's opinions. Yeah, I and then like what I like. Anyway, and then you know, and I was like, oh, I should do like cool hobbies, like go to gigs, listen to bands, um, take photos. I, still, I didn't I, just make a face at the whole idea of music. Obviously, if you like music, that's good. Yeah, I just made a face at the idea of following a crowd when it's I mean, not the thing that you people who listen to music and go passionate about. People who listen to music and go to gigs are kind of cool. Yeah, not always, but you know, it's just their it's their it's their gig. <laughs> Excuse the pun. <laughs> Have you only just? Oh my god, <laughs> that was a nice delay, darling. I have a learning disability. Also, you're deaf, so you can always hear what, can't always hear what I said. It takes a while for you to like process it. But anyway, as I've got older, I just felt more comfortable with doing what I want to do. And if that's getting my dirty boots on, my old jeans, my green oversized jumper and gilet, and like pulling at some weeds, then I'll do that. Yes. And actually, maybe it helps that you find it quite attractive. I do find it very attractive, I do. But I think what I find most attractive is just that you're happy and confident in what you're doing. Mm, That is more attractive. It's a lot more attractive than someone who's trying to be something else, do something else. That's like the point I was making. Be cool, follow a crowd. It's very unattractive, I think. Pretend they know the names of bands. That's just me, though. I know. I've been on dates where people try and impress me with their music knowledge, and I'm just... I mean, that was a long time ago, I think. Huh? Not that we went on dates, that was what it was long, but it was quite like a, what was it, like a, a sixth form, like, slash early university years, I think. Oh, you're saying that no one we know now cares about bands and listens to obscure music. Yeah, but they and don't... it's like, oh, that mainstream singer, oh. Yeah, but they don't test us on it. Maybe because they know that we just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. If yeah. anyone makes a pop culture kind of reference or joke, I'm just like... Ask Claudia to list three TV shows that came out in the last five years. That's ridiculous. Of course I can do that. Right. I was about to say The Crown. It's not even a TV show. That was on Netflix. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) You couldn't name a person who became famous in the last year. In the last year? Hmm. Hmm. No, not really, because I just don't follow any of that. I just don't follow anything like that. And if I'm like, by the time I've actually caught on that they're famous, they've been around for like ten years. <laughs> <laughs> like the Kardashians. <laughs> Could you name the Kardashians? Jenna. <laughs> Even I know that's right. Kyle. Keep going. Uh, no wait. Okay, there's a really cool. Tall... Yeah, there's that one. What's your favourite type of tea? Oh yes, um, I'm particularly fond of uh, Yorkshire, and I used to just drink, you know, Yorkshire tea for hard water when yes. I lived in London in particular. And now I drink Yorkshire Gold Blend, which is their like finer leaf collection. It's actually a blend of three different types of tea, <laughs> none of which grow in Yorkshire. Oh, but you know, I don't know what qualifies it as Yorkshire tea. It's for people from Yorkshire. What would you like to change in the next year? What would make you feel good? I'd really like to get rid of this sofa. I love this sofa. We've had this, this is my grandma's old sofa. And it's, I think it's highly flammable. So just the sofa. (laughs) That's all of your hopes and dreams for 2020, huh? Oh, baby. Or at least getting pregnant. I I really want... We're pushing it a bit to have a baby in 2020 because it's it's now December. December. It could happen. I mean, yeah. 
Uh, we're gonna do an extension. Yes. And uh, make our kitchen look like how we want it to yes. look. Yes. I'm currently, I, I love our house, but it makes me feel a little funny because it doesn't look how I want it to look. And I know I just have to wait and then we can do that. Still, like, it's all right. just wires got, that hang from the wall. We've got planning commission. Yeah, it's plugs gonna, in weird places. Why is there a plug? It's going to happen. And ideally, really, we should have all the building work done before baby. Yeah. Because we don't want to be those people that are on those TV programs all the time that are like, <laughs> like Why we need it? to find a house because like I'm going to have a baby in a month. And they're like, right, okay. Or they're like, uh, yeah, we decided to like do an extension of our entire house and knock half of it down. Yeah, grand We're going to have a baby in six weeks. <laughs> We're going to build a house. It'll be fine. It's like, we'll just live in this tiny caravan with our five kids and all the sick Why don't you coming? always have a baby when they plan to do like building work? I just don't think it's true. Let's get I building. Mean, this is coming. This is going to come back eat us on the ass. It? <laughs> it's like we're going to yes. Get, we're going to return to Vlogmas next year when we'll be living in a building site with a small child. Or just me of a ginormous bump <laughs> and like just rubble everywhere and my oh face. Oh my god, imagine Vlogmas next year. You think year. of me this morning, every grumpy. single. Oh Jesus. Think of me then. I'll You're gonna like... be the worst pregnant lady. <laughs> this morning, Jessica, Jessica was downstairs and uh, she told me last night she was gonna let me have a lion and I was like, oh, that's nice. Because she wanted to like get on and do her morning stuff. It's like the only time of day we have like separate time. I mean, it's a bit unfair because it's I don't have any. It's a separate time. Yes, you're we're asleep. Asleep. I know, exactly. It's a bit unfair. I have no separate time. I'm like asleep, and then when I wake up, you're like, hello. So no wonder I'm in a bad mood. I'm just like, no, get away from me. I don't. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah. You came down today. So I woke up. It was like quarter to. No, it was like half nine. It was pretty late for me. And then um, I was like, oh, really gasping for a cup of tea. Like, oh. And often I will just text you, won't I? Normally. Most yeah, mornings. I don't know. I think I just really want to do it really fast. I see. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I was so thirsty for a couple of days. Anyway, I got up, drew the curtains, and, and also I was a bit annoyed that I'd slept till, like, you'd let me sleep till 9.30, because I was like, like, half the day has gone. Anyway, as I said, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Everything was wrong. I went downstairs, and you were like, hi, darling. And I was like, <laughs> I put the kettle on. I had, like, a stomp about, like, why was that bag in the hallway? What's this doing here? Oh, I was in a bad mood. <laughs> I think we should have some time apart. <laughs> okay. That's another thing for the new year. Maybe. <laughs> Spending time apart. <laughs> Delightful. What kind of time apart would you like? I'll just go dig some more holes. Sure. <laughs> Comfy grey. Love you. I'm sorry. Love you too. <laughs> It's Christmas and some kind of Ow! Fuck! <laughs> you just slammed my own foot in the door. <laughs> it's just you and me tonight. It's just you and me tonight. Just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you